A U.S. drone strike takes out the Iranian-backed militia leader behind the attack on a U.S. base in Jordan. Kier Simmons joins us right now from Erbil, Iraq. And Kier, this is the strike that we've been waiting for? Well, one of them, perhaps, Becky, they're not being clear about how many strikes there might be. And in fact, uh, the a government uh, official telling NBC News uh, that this strike was authorized by the president early last week and that they waited for the opportunity to present itself. Clearly, it did uh, last night with this. What you've got to say from just looking at the pictures is, is a really targeted uh, strike. Uh, the car set ablaze. Uh, three inside killed, including, according to the group itself, a commander with Qatar Hezbollah that uh, is accused of carrying out that attack on that uh, base that killed three uh, U.S. service uh, men and women. So that strike uh, targeted uh, and creating uh, anger on the streets immediately afterwards with crowds uh, shouting uh, no to America, uh, no uh, to uh, Israel. Uh, but whether or not this will be the last uh, hit, if you like, I don't think anyone could say. I, I wouldn't predict that, uh, honestly, uh, Becky. I, I think the really big question, and it was just interesting to hear uh, the commentary just before you came to me uh, about the continuing uncertainty. I mean, I think uncertainty is an understatement uh, in this region, in, in the Red Sea and, and here in, in Iraq. I, I mean, I really think the interesting question is, uh, to what extent is, are these U.S. strikes de-escalating things? Uh, certainly this morning we have uh, those Iranian-backed militia groups asserting again that they will uh, double down on their attacks on bases, on U.S. bases, on uh, Kurdish forces uh, here in this part of I Iraq. Uh, so the strike that we saw last night, once again, uh, not a direct target on an Iranian or in Iran. That would be a massive escalation. Uh, but... Uh, seemingly calculated to, to hit, if you like, specifically uh, those militia that uh, the U.S. government deems responsible for that attack on Tower 22, that attack where those U.S. service men and women uh, died. Uh, but, again, how this plays out from here is a question. I mean, Becky, just uh, to finish off, I'm mean, just hearing... In Kurdistan and Iraq, for example, the oil pipeline into Turkey is closed down. They have a huge financial crisis here, not able to pay uh, civil servants because of a, a lack of, of cash flow. It's not clear when that will uh, resolve itself. And just think about the fact that this Kurdish part of Iraq, they are partners of the U.S. Uh, they have fought ISIS with the U.S. and now are standing up against Iran, although they also have some relations with Iran. It's a complex region. Uh, so uh, very, very difficult. It continues to be extremely difficult for the Biden administration, all this.